everyone, welcome back to Cybrosis. Today we are diving into the heart of the product organization in Odoo 70, product categories. Learn how to efficiently classify your products for better inventory management, sales and reporting. We'll cover everything from creating basic categories to building complex hierarchical structures. So let's get started. For that, first let's open the purchase module. Okay, so here inside the purchase module, you have the configuration where you can find the product categories. So I'll just open the product categories. So these are the different categories which you have, which is like all consumable deliveries, expense and so on. So to create a new product category, what you have to do is click on new over there. And from here, you can create a new category. So currently we have things like the parent category, ever tax category, logistics, inventory valuation, and then you have the account properties. So I'm going to enable certain other things inside the inventory module and let's see how it affects the product configuration. Okay, I mean the product category configuration. So the first thing which you have to do is go to the configuration settings. Okay. And let it get loaded. And first let's search for product packaging. Okay, so I'm searching here. Let's search for packaging. So here comes the product packaging and in enabling it and I'm saving it. Okay, so that's not the only thing which you need. You need one more thing. Okay, so other than the product packaging, you have to enable one more thing which is called. This is the thing. So under the inventory warehouses, you find a menu which is called the multi-step routes. So you have to enable it for configuring your own routes or using your own routes. Once you're done with that, save it. Okay, so you have to enable both of these things, which is the product packaging as well as the multi-step routes. Okay, once you're done, let's go back to the purchase. So this is the purchase module. And under the configuration, you have the product categories. Open that. Okay, so I'm going to create a new one, which is new. And here I'm going to give the name as lamps or you can give any other name. Okay. So the parent category, I'm choosing it as all saleable. Okay. Lamps under all saleable. Here comes the over tax category. Okay. So here, this is basically used for the over tax configuration. So our tax category can be chosen from here. So it's not a, you know, a required field. Then comes the logistics where you have the roads. So this is the roads which have come after we enable the multi-step routes okay so you can choose the routes here you can choose multiple routes here okay so i've chosen two routes uh, that is deliver in one step and receive in one step and here you have the force removal strategy okay so you can set a specific removal strategy that will be used regardless of the source location of this product so if you just click on this you have these much you know removal strategy which is the fifo lifo closest location and least packages Okay, so I'll choose FIFO, which is first in, first out. And here you have the reserve packages. Okay, so you can either reserve only full packagings or reserve partial packaging. So I'm putting it on full packagings. Okay, and here is the inventory valuation method. Okay, so by default, it will be in standard inventory valuation method. Okay, so the costing method is a standard price itself. Okay, so if you want, you can change it to average cost you have the first in first out here so i'll put it to standard price itself and here you have the account properties where you have the income account as well as the expense account okay so you have two different smart tabs here which shows the product as well as the put away rules which we assign corresponding to the product category so once it's done you have to save it okay so if any product is created for this particular category those products can be found on inside the product tab over here okay so you can create a product directly from here okay so i'm going to create a product which is called candle okay so this is the product and i'm putting it to storable product okay and you should also make sure that you are adding a vendor for the product so i'm adding the vendor which is abigail peterson the price i'm setting it to 10 okay the purchase price i'm setting it to 10 and the quantity setting it to five for five candles it's 10 okay and if you go to the sales or the general information section you have the sales price of the product which is 100 
okay so these are the basic things which you have to fill out once you create the product i'm just starting the product here okay so once you're done what you have to do is you have to save it and one more thing is that once you open the product tab from the category which you've created the product category will automatically be all saleable lamps that is the category from which we've opened the product okay so that's how the product is created inside the you know product category you can see the product which you've created you can even create it from the product section over here so if you go to products there click on new and i'm creating a new thing called bulb okay so changing it to storable product so for purchase i'm adding a vendor let the vendor be anita the quantity i'm giving it as one and the price i'm giving it as five okay so that's been added. I have changed it to storable product and all such things. So you can see the product category here is all. Okay, mine is all saleable. That too, all saleable. I'll do one thing, search more. So under all saleable, you can see the lamps which I've created. So now this product is under lamps. Okay, and once you have created it, you can simply save it. Okay. Now let's go to the category and look for the products. So this is the one which you've created, right? Lamps. Open that. You can see two products are there. Open it. You can see the bulb as well as the handle which we have created under the category which is lamps. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's create an RFQ. Okay. Let's create an RFQ. We shouldn't have got out of the purchase module. It's okay. So let's create a new RFQ where i'm adding the vendor here let it be abigail and the product i'm adding it as the candle okay so candle has been added over here okay so once you're done what you have to do you have to confirm the order okay so the order is confirmed the quantity is five received is zero build is zero so you have to receive the product okay so after receiving the product what you have to do you have to validate it right so validation is also done now let's go back to the purchase you have to create the bill so the bill is created and make sure you specify the bill date okay the bill date is also specified confirm it so after confirming you can register the payment create the payment okay so you can see it's in payment state now if you go back you can see the purchase order which is created okay so this has been created by the product which we have created right now, right? So this is the lambs which you have created. The products are here. See, two different products. The category is all saleable lambs. Okay, here you have the put away rules. Okay. So all these things regarding to the product category which we have created is given there. Okay. So this is basically how the product category is configured and how a product has been created inside it and i also showed you certain things which should be enabled inside the inventory module only then it will be found inside the product category configuration so yeah guys that's it i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video